This video will show you some of the most basic and advanced features of your phone system. We'll talk about how to make and take phone calls, as well as some in-call handling, such as conference and transfer. We'll then move on to some other features included in the system, such as voicemail, do not disturb, directories, and more. On the top of your dynamic display, you'll see a status bar. This will show you information about things that have happened with your phone and the time and the date. The right and the left side of your screen will show you keys that can be configured as helpful features. The top two left keys will always be configured as line buttons. These keys will show incoming and outgoing calls. Having two of them makes it easier to manage multiple calls. The four keys that line the bottom of your display are called soft keys. These keys labels and associated features will change based on whether you are or are not on a phone call. While on a live phone call, you can mute your audio by pressing the mute button in the bottom right function key area. While this feature is engaged, both your screen and the key itself will look different. To turn this feature off, press the button again. When mute is engaged, you can hear your caller, but they cannot hear you. To switch to the headset mode, press the headset button. This will engage any attached headset. To switch to the speakerphone mode, press the speaker button on the bottom right of your phone set. While on speaker, headset, or handset mode, you can use the plus and minus keys to adjust the volume. While not on a phone call, you can use these keys to adjust the volume of the ringer. To make a call, press the speaker, headset, or lift the handset off hook, then dial an appropriate extension or phone number. When dialing a phone number, there is no need to dial a 1 or even a 9 before the external number. When you receive a phone call, your phone will ring and you'll see the caller ID displayed in the dynamic screen. To answer, press the headset, speaker, or lift the handset off hook. If you're on one call and a second call comes in, your second line key on the top left will blink and you'll see the incoming caller ID displayed on your screen. To answer the second ringing call, press the second line key. The first will go on hold automatically. The slow blinking light on the line key will indicate that the call is on hold. The solid light indicates that the call is active. You can go between calls simply by pressing the line keys. While you're on a phone call, you have several in-call options available to you, the first of which is hold. To place your caller on hold on your phone only, you can either use the function key on the bottom right, or you can use the soft key. This places the call on hold on your phone set only. To resume the held call, either press the function key marked with the word hold or press the resume soft key. Parking your call places your call into a held position that all of the phones at your site can access. To place your call into park, press one of the available park keys. This will transfer the call to that parking spot and show differently on the phone's display. To resume the call from your phone or any other, press the same park button. This will transfer the call back to your phone set. To send your current call to someone else, you can transfer it. To transfer a call directly to another extension or phone number, press transfer, then input the phone number or extension you'd like to send the call to. End by pressing the B transfer button. A blind transfer is also known as a direct transfer. This sends the call directly to the other extension without announcing the call first. To transfer your call directly to another extension's voicemail box, start by pressing the transfer button, then type in the number seven followed by that extension number. For example, to transfer your call directly to extension 4121's voicemail, you would type 74121, then press B transfer, to send the blind transfer to voicemail. 
a blind or direct transfer maintains the caller ID information for the recipient. To transfer your call to a third party, but talk to that person before you do, press transfer, input the phone number or extension, then simply wait for that third party to answer. When the third party answers, you'll be talking to them privately while the first person remains on hold. To complete the transfer, press the transfer button. Or if the third party cannot take the call, press end call. While you're on a phone call, you may decide it's best to bridge in a third party to that conversation. To arrange a three-way phone call, press conference, which places the first call on hold. Then type in the phone number or extension of the person you'd like to bridge in. Wait for the third party to answer, and when they do, you'll be talking to them privately while the first person remains on hold. To bridge them into your current call, press conference, or to end the call with the third party and go back to the first, press end call. While on a conference call, if you hang up the phone, this will transfer the other two callers to each other. If you have a new message waiting for you, your phone's top right light will illuminate. This is the message waiting indicator light, letting you know you have new messages waiting for you. To access your voicemail to listen to new messages or modify the announcements, press the message key on the bottom right of your phone set. This will access the voicemail system. Simply follow the prompts to access your voicemail, change messages, or listen to your greetings. If paging has been configured on your phone system, you may have a page button on your phone. To use this, simply press the page key, say what you need to say over the handset, and then hang up. All phones that are subscribing to that paging group will hear your message. To see a list of your most recent calls, press the history button. This will show you your most recent missed, dialed, and received calls. Your phone is equipped with an internal directory. This comes preloaded with all of your company extensions. The first time you access the directory, you'll need to identify yourself by putting in your password. Your password is always the same as your voicemail account password. For most users, this PIN may be the last four digits of their phone number or the last four digits of their phone number twice. If you're unsure what your voicemail password is, please see your system administrator. The first time you press directory and access the extensions, the system will prompt you to enter the PIN. Enter the PIN in the password field, then press OK. The system will log you in and show any of the associated extensions on your system. The Do Not Disturb feature sends all of your incoming calls to voicemail. To enable it, simply press the D&D button. When Do Not Disturb is enabled, the status bar area will show a small icon noting it. Press the D&D button again to turn this feature off.